Hey guys, Lek here. Today I want to show you a video and explain why your car might have a fast blinker indicator, meaning this. So this is called a hyper blinker. This is your standard blinking. So we can see the front left is working fine. And we can see that our back is out. So there you go. Now you know what you need to do. We gotta get it replaced. There's one other way some cars you'll be able to tell with the modern cars with all this technology now. If you scroll down through your menu on the, this is a 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee. One more, one more. It actually tells you. It pops up on its own. Left rear turn signal light out. So now we gotta replace that and I will show you guys how to do that right now. So basically to get the tail light off there's two tabs here all you get is a flat head get it into this little wedge and pop them open this will pull out halfway and the whole thing and then this is the second piece and it's basically a two-piece design once you push this through this expands and that's what holds the light in no screws or anything and if you accidentally break these you can pick this up at your local automotive store pretty cheap. Once you get that off, you just pull this out. There's a little tab here and here that sits here and here, and that's what's holding this in place. Now you want to get to the turn signal bulb. Let me just show you guys a better angle. This is the bulbs that you actually need, 3157 for the rear, for the Jeep Grand Cherokee 2014 and up, most likely. All right, so your blinker bulb is right here. All you do is grab this, twist it counterclockwise. It actually gives you directions here to remove. There's an arrow. Pop this off. This is what it looks like. When you put the new bulb on, try not to hold it with your fingers because the grease oil from your fingers is going to shorten the life of the bulb. Uh, you use gloves, or in this case, I'm just going to hold it, the new one with a piece of plastic, pop it in, or if you do touch your fingers, wipe it after with a cloth just to give it of any grease. And then we'll just pop this back in. Line this, this up with these two holes. Pop that in. I'm gonna get our plastic little screws now in there. So first, you put in the flat piece, and then that second piece. Same here. Get a second one. And that's it. That's done. Now the only thing left to do is to test if it works. So I'm gonna turn it on. There you guys go. We got a functional blinker again. Thanks for watching. Hope this is helpful. Subscribe, follow. I have lots more car videos, how-to videos on house repair, phones, cars, and whatever. Uh, give me a comment below if you have any questions or feedback for others. And thanks for watching. And our blinker is back to normal.